Uh, I represent the state of Sikkim, which is, uh, I mean, I'm the lone member and a member of Sikkim Kranti Kari Mocha Party. Mm -hmm. uh, while introducing the uh, bill and bringing for the discussion, Honorable Minister Sir somehow, uh, somehow left the, uh, one of the states from the northeast region, because Sikkim is one of the states of the Northeastern Council. There are eight states and Sikkim is one of them. So nowhere Sikkim has been uh, named for the exemption in this citizenship amendment bill. Sikkim was not there when uh, India got its independence. Now Sikkim merged into the Indian Union in 1975 mm -hmm. with 371F as a special provision. And there the subclass K of 371F protects all the old laws of Sikkim where the citizenship of the Sikkimese Indian is defined by the Sikkim Subject Regulation Act of 1961. Now, when the Citizenship Act order, uh, Citizenship Act of 1951 was enforced in Sikkim with the Sikkim Citizenship Order 1975, there is clearly specified that every person who immediately before 26 April 1975 was a Sikkim subject under Sikkim Subject Regulation 1961 shall be deemed to have become a citizen of India on that day. This means that the citizenship of Indi Sikkim, uh, Sikkimese Indian has been defined according to the Sikkim Subject Regulation Act of 1961. This brings to the point that Sikkim should be exempted from Sikkim's uh, citizenship amendment bill which is under discussion today. So uh, from the Sikkimese people, from the Sikkim Krantikari Morsa, I strongly oppose the implementation of citizenship amendment bill in Sikkim and hence the bill. Thank you.